Additionally, we are informed that their condition is stable. Only three weeks left until election day. Right now and today. Katie Hobbs, an electoral government candidate, had 30 minutes on stage by herself. Hobbs was a no-show at the Democratic primary debate and refused to debate Republican nominee Carrie Lake before the Arizona PBS interview. Add more Stephanie to Stephanie Bennett is lying tonight. Today, Katie Hobbs attempted to concentrate on her top priorities in the event that she were elected governor. But she was unable to avoid the moderator's questions regarding why she continues to reject a debate against Lake over the next 30 minutes. I will fight to defend our freedoms and Arizona by winning this election. Interview. Through a series of questions that Hobbies asked, Arizona PBS host Ted Simmons discussed education. Teacher pay. And the best way to conserve water for the state. Ducey. The governor. Is managing the pandemic and raising inflation rates. Some of the highest in the nation. Tax breaks on usual items like over-the-counter medication and diapers were proposed. By expanding childcare assistance and creating a refundable tax credit for pursuing career and technical education. We put people back to work. Hubs does not support the current 15-week limit when it comes to abortion and instead want abortion care to be accessible to all that. Require it the idea that there is a one-size-fits-all limit to address really extreme circumstances is false. False later is rampant late-term abortion. A woman's stance on border security comes after several tours and endorsements from officials. Abortion is incredibly incredibly rare. And when it happens. It is often devastating to a woman and her family. Quite frankly. We need the Biden administration to do more with regard to border security. Additionally. We require comprehensive immigration reform to address some of the crisis we are currently witnessing. Simons grilled her about racism charges and why she didn't want to debate Lake. The drama began last month when Hobbs declined the invitation to the PBS debate, which was later turned into a one-on-one -on -one interview with Lake. However, on the day of the Carrie Lake's PBS interview last Wednesday, the Clean Elections Commission decided to postpone it after Arizona PBS announced they would host a separate interview with Hobbs, which was not approved by the commission and violates established procedures. First question is necessary. What's the purpose of this? Why don't we hold a debate? I've been talking to Arizonans every day on the campaign trail about the issues they are facing. And you know I've said from the beginning that I want to be able to have a substantive conversation about them. So I think this is a great opportunity to do that. Make my case directly to the voters a new location has been found for the Clean Elections Commission's event. Yes. And. They also informed Katie Hobbs that the offer is still open and that if she accepts, a debate will follow. However, the commission currently believes that she will obviously not participate in this debate, which will now become an interview with Carrie Lake.